Hey, if you're not already a subscriber, click the button so you don't miss anything. Thanks. Thomas Hudner grew up in Massachusetts. His family owned a chain of grocery stores. He attended the Naval Academy and graduated with the class of 1947. Got his wings and was assigned to a Corsair squadron stationed aboard the USS Leyte VF-32, which happened to be my first squadron as well. In the fall of 1950, the Korean War was just getting started. General MacArthur had just met with President Truman on Wake Island. It was their only face-to-face -face meeting until MacArthur was later fired by Truman. But at this meeting on Wake Island, MacArthur assured Truman that the Chinese would not be entering the war. A few weeks later, 300,000 Chinese troops flowed from China into North Korea and set the scene for what was the Chosen Reservoir Campaign, where the U.S. Marines had to fight their way out of there in a bitter cold. VF-32 was aboard Leyte, providing close air support for those Marines during the Chosen Reservoir Campaign. On December 4th, 1950, six Corsairs launched on what was called a Roadrunner mission, which basically close air support for the Marines. Included in that sixth plane was Thomas Hudner and his best friend in the squadron, Ensign Jesse Brown. At some point during this mission, Brown was hit at first he didn't notice. One of his wingmen saw fuel streaming out of his airplane and he radioed him and told him so. And soon afterwards he radioed that he was losing power and that his engine was seizing up. One of the other members of the flight spotted a clearing and advised Brown to attempt a belly landing there, which he did. So it's the Denner winner and as he hits, it causes this cloud of snow and crumples his Corsair. So the other five airplanes are transmitting among themselves. They assume he died on impact, but Thomas Hudner does not want to believe that. So he does a low pass. And as he does, he sees Jesse Brown waving to him. So Hudner says to the other, he's alive. I'm not going to leave him there so that the Chinese can capture him. So Hudner performs an amazing act. He force lands his airplane gear up in the snow near where Brown crashed gets out of the airplane, runs through the snow over to where Brown is, and discovers that he's actually trapped in the cockpit the way that the nose folded up, pinned his legs. Hunter runs back to his airplane, which still has power, radios that he's still alive, asks the search and rescue helicopter to expedite coming to get him, and then runs back to Jesse's airplane and tries desperately to get him out of the wreckage. He has no luck. The helicopter shows up, lands, and Hudner and the helicopter pilot use an axe. After a while, it's getting close to nightfall. They have to leave. Hudner wraps his scarf around Jesse in a vain attempt to keep him warm and tells him, we'll be back tomorrow, pretty much knowing that there's no way he's going to be able to survive the night. Jesse Brown's last words to Thomas Hudner are, tell Daisy, his wife, I love her. The next day, Hudner beseeched the helicopter squadron to go back to recover his remains, but they said they couldn't. It was too dangerous. They wound up napalming the crash site in order that the Chinese would not capture his remains. For his actions, Thomas Hudner was awarded the Medal of Honor. Both Brown and Hudner eventually had Navy ships named in their honor. The Brown A. Knox-class frigate and the Hudner a Burke-class destroyer. Thomas Hudner was able to carry out Jesse Brown's final wish a couple of times at least. First at the event at the White House where he received the Medal of Honor from President Truman and later at the commissioning ceremony for the USS Jesse Brown. Hudner passed away in 2017 at the age of 93. A feature film called Devotion based on the book by Adam Makos of the same name about the relationship between Hudner and Brown is slated to come out this Thanksgiving. It stars Glenn Powell as Thomas Hudner and Jonathan Majors as Jesse Brown. And remember, Glenn Powell also played Hangman in Top Gun Maverick. So we look forward to that one opening on November 23rd. All right, that'll do it for this episode. We'll talk to you again very soon.